My name is Lindsay. I am the orientation supervisor here in St. Cloud, and I've been with ATS since 2014. My name is Daisha Lenz. I am both a claim examiner and a paralegal for ATS, and I started in 2020. Hi, I'm Michael Carlson, safety manager at ATS, and I've been here since 2021. Charlie Conlon, a cargo and injury prevention specialist. Been with ATS since uh, December of 2004, so I just celebrated 19 years. I'm Kelly, I'm the compliance manager here at ATS, and I started in 2017. Hi, my name's Nathaniel Lease. I'm the director of safety. I've been with ATS since 2018, and this is our journey. So in my role here at ATS, I prep and train and work with the new drivers that are coming into orientation and get them prepared to be successful with ATS. My role primarily focuses on helping drivers uh, learn about cargo securement and proper techniques, uh, both during orientation and um, throughout their careers with us out on the road. My role here at ATS is to make sure that we are staying legal and following the FMCSA regulation at all times. Within our group, a lot of what we do is working with the drivers. Uh, we work with them on the regulation, making sure that they are following it so that they can remain legal out there and not have any worries when they're stopped for a roadside inspection. Uh, safety's role specifically here at ATS, um, we want to get safety uh, information out to drivers, whether that be media we put out to them, um, information, current trends, stuff like that. We also work with operations, so the driver managers um, inform them on stuff their drivers are dealing with, uh, stuff their drivers should be looking out for. Uh, we also work with new drivers coming in, um, training them and uh, making sure they're up to our expectations of a driver. Um, we also work with all different departments here at ATS. Um, we joke around a lot in the claims department that our role is to really clean up the messes, um, whether it be on our side or on the other side. I would describe my role as the director of safety as uh, a strategic vision, right, and implementation of uh, strategies in order to improve, uh, continuously improve the safe performance of this company. We're there every day to greet the drivers and help them along, get prepared and trained for orientation and to get into their trucks. A big portion of my week is spent with our orientation group training drivers. Um, every week we bring a, in an orientation group uh, of new drivers uh, here in St. Cloud, so we spend our week either road testing those drivers or training them on cargo securement. Following up on claims, checking with the drivers to make sure that their, their trucks are being fixed in um, a good amount of time, getting them back on the road. Training that we do with the drivers to make sure that they have a good grasp on the regulation, why it's important and why they need to follow it. Meetings, presenting, um, writing, do quite a bit of writing. There's a lot of interaction between departments. So we work with our uh, maintenance department, for example, to make sure the equipment remains safe. We work with the operating departments uh, in order to ensure that we are continuing uh, in the right direction from a collaboration between safety and operating practices. What I enjoy most about my role is working with the truck drivers and helping them become successful in their careers as well as advancing in my own personal career. Seeing the results that we've done so or that we achieve. Helping the driver. Uh, we often get drivers calling in feeling a little helpless. Maybe they had an issue with their medical card or there was an issue at the DMV with their CDL. I believe in what I do. I believe in safety. I think the roads could be a safe place and I like always working towards that goal of delivering freight safely. Some of the biggest challenges we face is the advancement of technology. Uh, technology is changing all the time, and so each company uses different applications and systems. So teaching those new applications and systems is like switching from Apple to Android. It can be challenging. Every department has their own goal at the end of the day, um, and finding that um, push-pull that balance to work hand-in-hand uh, -hand with everybody can be, can be a challenge, but it's also very rewarding. Technology, um, especially in the e-log group, all of the drivers have to log all of their time on an ELD tablet. Sometimes the tablet's not working properly. Sometimes the driver doesn't know how to work it. So they spend a lot of time educating the driver, helping them if they are having tablet issues and coming to a solution. My group is a small, very team-oriented group. 
they all work together very nicely. If you ever have a question, you can bounce it off somebody else in the team. We often work together to make sure that we find the correct answer. Teamwork within my group and the organization consists of a lot of communication and collaboration, uh, just to make sure drivers are well-trained and prepared to be successful. Everybody has their own expertise, and they all bring that expertise to bear on whatever problem we're trying to solve. Since starting at ATS in 2017, I've seen a lot of growth in the organization. One thing that has always stayed consistent, though, is the family atmosphere. Everyone is very friendly. You always feel like you're with family all the time. Coming into a company where you feel like family and it's very welcoming instead of that corporate industry feel was just something that caught me right away. I just couldn't leave it. There was no going back. There's so much more to the trucking industry than just drivers and dispatchers. You've got your safety departments and recruiting. You've got a whole family of drivers out there along with the family inside the corporate office. Jump in with both feet because I came into the transportation industry not knowing anything at all. I would say don't be afraid of it, right? Uh, all of industry or business in general, it's all relatively the same, right? The nuts and bolts might be different, but righty tighty and lefty loosey is always the same no matter where you go. It's about people and it's about process and Everyone has to have those skills in whatever industry or career they choose to do. Uh, the rest of it's just learning, learning what it is that that particular industry requires, and none of it's all that scary. Mm -hmm.